Channel 7, you know, we are huge fans of the amazing race and even bigger fans of the guys from Idaho who got second place on the show. We have Joel Strasser and Garrett Smythe here in the studio. They're going to share uh, with us all about their journey on the amazing race. Pretty cool. I mean, people are big fans out there of you, too. What's it been like since you've been home? It's been weird to get yeah. recognized walking around. I like, bet it has. When, in fact, when we were in New York City for the finale in um, Times Square, there were more people. There were people taking pictures with us more than the people that you pay to take pictures with. <laughs> it was really strange. That was the strangest thing being outside of the state and yes. having people take pictures with us. So. Yes. Oh my gosh. So. Jim is a big fan of the show. He watches. We really enjoyed watching yeah. that. And, and I have to say, you guys kind of went into this and you just stayed kind of an underdog situation. And the last show, you were in the lead. And then you got kind of hung up on the kayaks. Yeah, yeah. those darn kayaks. It was, <laughs> it was all part of the plan. We, were, we downplayed ourselves yeah, yeah, early yeah. so as not it was to get so U-turns. We <laughs> yeah, we had a dominant leg, that, that leg, and, and those kayaks, man, I, I'll just say I'm anti-kayak. I'm pro-canoe I'm pro now. Yeah. So. For you have people, to go back and watch the rerun. Yeah, I do. I have to go back and check it out. For people who love the show, what was your favorite and your least favorite challenge? Because we know they have challenges on your show. My, my favorite one was probably the skydiving in okay. Sweden. Wow. That was so beautiful and so exciting. I don't know. What about I, you? Well, my favorite one, I'm going to rub it in a little bit, was the glider plane, I think, mm. over <laughs> Slovenia. That, that was just a beautiful, yeah. beautiful oh, scenery. Oh, my gosh. Um, I got to do it twice, you know? I got to do it zero times. <laughs> oh, you guys got to see so much of the yeah. world. I mean, just that exposure. Do you think you would have done that had you not been on a show like this? Nothing like this, no. I mean, I, I love traveling, but this is traveling just to the extreme. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I thought your favorite uh, challenge would have been the river dance, and yours oh, would have been the trapeze. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. I mean, the, you know, the trapeze wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. Once you learn how to get your momentum to kick your legs up, my least favorite one had to have been the dance with the bulls on my head. Any dance challenge, neither one of us wanted to do dance challenges. Neither, yeah. I've been having nightmares about that river dance ever since. Oh, my goodness. So you've been home since June or July, right? Yep. And you have had to keep this a secret. Yeah. yeah. So who were you able to tell? Only our wives knew. Okay. No one else knew. And do people ask you every day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Who all your friends did you win? Did you win? Yeah, did you win? Did you people win? are trying to ask trick questions to see if they can get some information yes. out of us. And... So let's talk about the GoFundMe for your little girl. Um, tell us what that's all about and how you met your goal. I, I'm going to try to keep my composure here because yes. it makes me, me emotional. But yeah. when, when I talked about on, on the race, when I talked about the fact that if we win the million, I wanted to get my daughter a service dog, right away people in the fan community were reaching out saying, oh, if, if they don't win, we got to do something for them. And then Strasser, I didn't realize it, but Strasser behind the scenes, because he knew we didn't win, was setting up a fundraiser that he could then publish once the final episode aired. And the day so, after, it went live, and within, what, four days, we reached the goal, and I'm just, like, shocked. I'm so amazing. appreciative to everybody out there that shared it, that donated. Now we're in the process of, of trying to figure out, you know, what company we need to use to, to get her a service dog. And, and hopefully we'll have that soon. And we'll keep everyone up to date on, on social media, on Instagram. Oh, my gosh. You know, as far as how, that, how that's going. Yeah, so. all your Fantastic. fans are going to be thrilled to see, you know, the before and after. Yeah. Of the photos of her with the dog. What will that mean to her to have um, that? You know what? She, she's always been a little timid around dogs. Yes. But a well-trained dog that um, w w won't scare her as much. And she's just going to, just so much that, that it can do for her. Yes. Like, so much They're help incredible. to her. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, she doesn't keep her balance well because of the cerebral palsy. And so it'll, it can help her keep her balance. If she falls down, it can help her get up. She's also deaf. And so she does have cochlear implants. But if they malfunction or the batteries die, um, it, it'll help her with the hearing and everything. Oh, and so, amazing. yeah, just so many blessings are coming from this. It's, it's crazy. Well, we're so happy for the both of you. Second place. And when are you heading to the Galapagos Islands? We got to ask you that. Oh, gosh. Well, we don't have it scheduled yet, but okay. it's coming up in 2024. Are you taking your wives? Oh, definitely. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> have you got room in the trunk for Maggie and me? I know. Well, really. we'll we yeah, do. we can squeeze you in. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. <laughs> and, of course, Joel's on TV all the time because he's also the guy that stuffs everything in his beard. You know that guy? That's him. So you'll probably be on our show again. <laughs> I'll be back. Christmas baubles. Oh, yeah, every year. He loves I know that. you do that. I know. We love that. All right. Thank you for joining us this morning, you two, and we will be right back.